It's been 21 months since Alex fell ill. Today, the family woke up to some big news. We're all in bed as normal, Sam included, and Alex just said something like, well, you've been asking me for so long, we might as well just get married, in a very unromantic way, by the way. And I just sort of repeated what he said to me, and I said, are you asking me to marry you? And he said, yes, and that was it. I changed my mind about the whole marriage thing because of everything that I kind of inadvertently put her through, really, and how she coped with it and didn't waver and, and stuck by me. It, it was quite clear that it's got to be her. No, I've always expected it because I knew he'd give in at some point. I don't know. I'd drain him down, I'd get him down at some point. I'd nag him down to it. So I knew it was always going to happen. He just didn't know it was going to happen. <laughs> Since falling ill, Alex has been determined to increase his independence. But so far, none of the prosthetic legs have enabled him to walk. It's become quite clear that the National Health Service have got no way of funding the knee joints that I require, which means we're going to have to raise the money or the profile of the problem um, on our own. Alex has been introduced to a private trust organiser in the hope of beginning his own formal fundraising organisation. Your year mm. is going to be full of exciting moves forward, things, some things you, you yeah, haven't yeah, even yeah. done before. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Mm. The search is on for the costly equipment that could transform Alex and his family's life. Yeah. Yeah. A hand cycle? Just put some rocket boosters there. Rocket boosters? Yeah. The cost of it, all told with prosthetics, is about £24,500. That money is, is worth every penny for it. You know, it means that Lucy and I can go out with Sam on his bike. You know, we can do stuff to family. You can't really put a price on a little bit of independence. Over the next few months, Alex's trust begins raising its first money. Thank you for uh, attending the event tonight. A team of volunteers join with a goal to raise the three million pounds Alex is estimated to need over the course of his lifetime. A woman phoned me up today at work and told me that she was in the shower thinking about you this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, brilliant. <laughs> mm. In the shower thinking she was, about she was me. in the shower, her and her husband. It's very You touch people, you make them well, buy you toilets. <laughs> that is pretty much what the support is, Leah. She constantly takes the piss. <laughs> now, 22 months after falling ill, Alex is striving ahead and the trust is delivering. Wow, that's what I'm about to get out. Can I have a try? No. Why? Oh, yeah, because I've got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like the ginormous gun. <laughs> now, as the time's going by, I see something new happen every week. I see him now open up a fridge. I see him now pour himself a drink of squash. He's very, very independent now, and he wants to do it all himself. All of this is attitude of mind and life. If you want your life, you will go out and get it. 